Hey Manifestors, welcome back to the Neville Goddard Son of Abdullah channel. Today we're diving into something truly mind-expanding, your innate psychic abilities and how they are the key to mastering your reality. Yes, you heard that right. We're talking about how your imagination isn't just wishful thinking, it's a powerful psychic tool that connects you to the fourth dimension and allows you to choose the parallel reality you want to live in. Buckle up, because this is going to change the way you see your world and your place in it. Imagination, your innate psychic ability. Let's start with a question. What if I told you that your imagination is not just daydreaming, but actually a psychic ability. According to Neville Goddard, imagination is the God in action within us. It's how we perceive and interact with the fourth dimension. Now I know what you're thinking, psychic abilities, isn't that something only fortune tellers have? Not at all. Each of us has this innate power. Every time you imagine something vividly, you are choosing a parallel reality stepping into a new dimension of existence where that reality is already true. When you visualize your dreams, you're not just fantasizing, you're psychically sensing a reality that exists ahead of its physical evidence. This is what Neville referred to as thinking fourth dimensionally. It's a psychic perception that feels the presence of something as real before it manifests in the physical world. When you fully immerse yourself in this feeling, you're not just wishing for something, you're actually experiencing it in a dimension beyond our regular three-dimensional world. Consciousness and Imagination – The Fourth Dimensional Connection Here's where it gets even more interesting. Your consciousness, which is based on this psychic power of imagination, is the key to accessing and living in these alternate realities. When you feel the presence of your desires as if they already exist, you are aligning with a parallel reality where those desires are already fulfilled. This is living imaginatively, using your fourth dimensional power to perceive and create reality. Think of it as tuning into a radio station. The reality you live in is the station your consciousness is tuned to. Change the station, change the reality. And just as you can misuse this power by focusing on fears, doubts or negative outcomes, essentially tuning into stations you don't want, you can just as easily choose to focus on the positive, beneficial realities that align with your desires. The more you immerse yourself in these chosen realities through imagination, the more they begin to manifest in your physical world. This is the true power of faith, a physical perception based on the imaginatively sourced psychic perception. The psychic power of feeling, clothed in reality. Neville often said, feeling is the secret. But what did he really mean by that? Feeling is your psychic tool, your way of affirming the existence of something before it appears in the physical world. When you intensely feel the reality of what you imagine, you're not just thinking about it, you're clothing it in reality. This psychic feeling or sensing the presence of your desired reality is what turns your imaginings into lived experiences. Think of it like this. The more you immerse yourself in the feeling of a new reality, the more it becomes real to you. It starts as a psychic sensation, an invisible presence. But as you continuously engage with it, feeling it more intensely, it begins to clothe itself with human feeling until it becomes so real that it manifests in your physical world. This is the process of creation, from the unseen to the seen, from imagination to reality. Immersion and intensity. The power of focus. Now, let's talk about immersion. The key to mastering this psychic power is intensity. The deeper your immersion, the more powerful the manifestation. When you imagine something with intensity, you're fully investing your psychic energy into that reality. You're not just dipping your toes in, 
You're diving in headfirst, living in that reality as if it's the only truth that exists. The more you practice this, the more you learn to feel all the familiar sensations of that reality. How it would feel, what it would look like, even what it would smell like. You're not just imagining, you're living it, clothing that state with a human, realistic feeling. And here's the magic. The more loyal you are to this imagined state, the quicker it will manifest. Because in the fourth dimension, imagination is the only true reality, the only now that affects your current life. The psychic nature of imagination, understanding the source. So, where does this power come from? Neville would say it's the divine within you, God in action. Modern words might call it psychic power, but it's the same force. This is why feeling is such a powerful tool. When you feel something intensely, you're not just thinking it, you're psychically sensing its presence, affirming its existence in the now. This psychic sensation, this feeling of reality, is what brings your desires from the fourth dimension into the third. It's not about what you see on the outside, because that's just an effect. The real cause is inside, in your psychic imagination. And when you master this, you master your reality. Because, as Neville taught, feeling is the secret, but it's the feeling from within that shapes everything without. Misuse of imagination, the root of unwanted realities. Let's address a common pitfall, misusing this psychic power. We've all been there, right? You get caught up in a spiral of negative thinking, imagining the worst-case scenario. And then surprise, surprise, it happens! But here's the thing, this is just your psychic imagination in action. When you misuse it by focusing on negative outcomes, you're tuning into a parallel reality where those fears are real. Remember, your imagination doesn't judge, it just creates. The good news? You can just as easily flip the switch. Start focusing on what you want and use your psychic imagination to create positive, beneficial outcomes. This is your journey. Choose the realities that serve you. You're not stuck with any one version of reality. You're the artist and your imagination is the brush. Paint something beautiful. The psychic feeling of reality. Faith in action. Let's revisit the concept of faith. In the context of Neville's teachings, faith isn't just belief without evidence. It's the psychic feeling of a reality that you've created within. It's knowing that what you've imagined and felt intensely is already true, even if your physical senses haven't caught up yet. This is living in faith, living in the reality that your imagination has clothed and wearing it as your truth. When you wear this psychic feeling as your reality, the physical world has no choice but to align with it. You become the ruler of your dream, the master of your reality. This is why Neville taught that imagination is the only thing that truly exists now. It's the present reality that shapes the future, and if you control it, you lead a free life. Practical steps to harness your psychic imagination. All right, let's get practical. How do you harness this psychic power of imagination? First, remember that God, imagination, is spirit, or in modern terms, psychic. This means your imagination is your direct connection to the divine power of creation. Here's a simple exercise. Find a quiet space, close your eyes, and begin to feel the presence of your desired reality. Not just see it, but feel it as if it's already happening. Spend time immersing yourself in this feeling without rushing. The key is intensity. Immerse yourself fully so much that you can sense every detail. Practice this daily and watch as your imagined reality starts to unfold in your physical world. Remember the outside world is the effect. The cause is your psychic imagination. When you master this, you master your life. The role of persistence staying loyal to your vision. Now, let's talk about persistence. 
This is where the magic really happens. Neville Goddard emphasized that persistence is key to mastering your psychic imagination. It's not enough to just imagine your desired reality once and hope for the best. You have to stay loyal to that vision, even when the outside world isn't showing you any signs of change yet. Persistence means continually immersing yourself in the feeling of your imagined reality, no matter what. It's about living in that state consistently, day after day, until it becomes second nature. This is how you make your imagined reality your lived reality. Think of it like planting a seed. You wouldn't expect it to grow overnight, but you trust that it will if you keep nurturing it. The same goes for your psychic imagination. Nurture it with your unwavering belief and persistent focus and watch it manifest in your physical world. And here's the science behind it, your brain's neuroplasticity. When you persist in imagining a certain reality, you're actually reprogramming your brain to accept that reality as true. The more you reinforce these neural pathways, the more your brain will seek out evidence to support your new belief. Over time, this persistent focus will align your external reality with your inner vision. So don't give up. Your persistence is the key to unlocking your new reality. So there you have it, manifestors, the secrets to unlocking your innate psychic imagination and mastering your reality. Remember, you are the creator of your life, and your imagination is the most powerful tool you have. By living in the end, immersing yourself in the feeling of your desired reality, and persistently focusing on that vision, you can shape your world in any way you choose. Before you go, let's recap. Your imagination is your innate psychic ability, allowing you to choose and live in the parallel reality you desire. Consciousness, rooted in imagination, is the key to perceiving and creating reality. By feeling the presence of your desires, immersing yourself in that feeling, and staying persistent in your focus, you can manifest anything. This is the power of living fourth dimensionally, where imagination is the only true reality. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the depths of your psychic power. If you're ready to take your manifestation game to the next level, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hey, if you need personalized guidance, check out the links in the description to book a consultation. Let's continue to unlock the full potential of our minds and create the realities we've always dreamed of. Until next time, keep imagining, keep believing, and keep manifesting.